Do you wonder what a DMS rocket motor is? That's what I'm going to cover in this video. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Today I want to cover a motor called the DMS motor. These are from Aerotech. Um, it's this one right here. Um, if you look on the label, it will say DMS. Now the DMS stands for Disposable Motor System. Um, Aerotech also makes RMS motors, which stands for Reloadable Motor System. Now the DMS means it's disposable, so you use it one time and then you discard it. Or the RMS means reloadable, means you can use it multiple times. You just have to change out the propellant between uses. Um, when you open a DMS, um, you'll, you'll cut along the tape and pop off the paper cap. And inside you'll find a little bag of goodies. Um, we'll open that in a second. And then inside of there will be an anti-static bag, which I've already opened. And inside of that is the disposable motor. Now disposable means it's used once, so um, just like the single-use motors, uh, they're used once. And we also sell single-use, which we, uh, on our website, we abbreviate S slash U for single-use. Now these are also a type of single-use, but they're called DMS. Um, this is wrapped around the motor, and this is the instructions. Um, these are pretty easy to use, um, so there's not a lot to the instructions. Most of it's warnings. Uh, be careful, don't smoke around them. Uh, no open flames, things like that. Um, and then uh, it tells you how to use the universal delay drilling tool to adjust the delay. Um, so here's the motor. Um, it's got a, a fiberglass case. It's got a, a ring on the back just like the other rocket motors uh, that you're familiar with. Almost all high power motors, the thrust ring is on the back. Um, this is a little cap to hold the igniter in. There's the nozzle right there. Um, and on this end we have um, the ejection charge will go into this little well right here. Um, I don't know if you can see that down in there, but down in there is the delay charge. Um, and then on the side of the motor, you have DMS again, and then the name of the motor, and this is an H135. W, w stands for white, um, white flame. Um, and then the delay is 14 seconds, and that's where that 14 comes in. Um, now, what's unique about the DMS motors compared to the single-use motors are these you have to adjust the delay. Um, so we're going to start with a 14 second delay, and that's the longest it can be, so you can't have anything longer than a 14 second. And then you can make it shorter, and you make it shorter by drilling into the delay column that's in the back of the motor. So it's, it's like a little sl uh, cylinder of propellant, and the shorter you make that propellant, the shorter amount of time that it burns, and that's what we want to do with the drill. With the drill, we're going to... Um, shorten the column or the effective length of that column by drilling a hole in the one end. Um, and for that, we always have to use the universal delay drilling tool, which is this one right here. It's universal delay drilling tool. Um, and you can see it's a drill. And Aerotech sells two drilling tools, the regular RMS delay drilling tool and the, the universal. Aerotech at one point was going to make all motors universal, but then they decided against that, at least from what we understand. Things have made, may change by the time you watch this video, but for right now, you need to use the universal delay drilling tool. Um, and what this does is it will drill down into the delay column on the back to set the delay length. And it has um, two basic settings plus a little accessory to, to adjust it even more. So on one side, it will say minus eight seconds removed from, the, um, from this end. And if you flip it over on this side, it says minus four seconds. So say we wanted um, to take this 14 second delay and turn it into a 10 second delay. So we need to take off four seconds. Um, and so that is where the minus four comes in. 
So we would put the drill bit into there like that and then that's going to go down into the hole and you'll see it will bottom out right there and then we'll drill down into it. You can see I'm pushing on the dr drill right now and it's got a little gap. So when I drill I'll spin that around and it will go further and further in and that is will be four seconds taken out. So then when you pull it out there'll be shavings in there. You'll dump those shavings out. Uh, the instructions say to burn them in a safe place so um, you can do that later. Um, now, so that is taking off four seconds. So now, say you wanted to take off two seconds. So going from a 14 second to a 12 second. So for that, you would take this washer, and this washer equals two seconds. So you can see taking out that much propellant is only two seconds. So that's about a 16th of an inch is two seconds. So 1 32nd of an inch would be one second removed. Um, and it's, it's very fine. Um, so to use the washer, you put that on the on the drill, then you slide it back into the hole, and now the drill doesn't stick out the end as much. So when you push it into the hole and drill, it's only it's going to take off even less. So um, so right now I'm bottoming out. You can see I only got about the width of that um, washer as a gap. I can't get it to where you see it because the washer wants to move. Okay, and so if you want to do a six second delay, you flip it around onto the eight second side. And now when I bottom out, it's, it's much deeper that it has to go in. So that would be six seconds. And if I wanted eight seconds, I remove the washer completely. And so now I'm taking off 8 seconds, so 14 minus 8 is 6 seconds. So this will turn into a H135W-6. So you have to adjust the delay, and people always ask, well, how, how do you know what it should be? And for that, you always have to run your computer simulations. So um, at Apogee Components, we sell a program called RockSim that you can, you, that you can use, and there's other pr free programs out there on the Internet. Uh, we like ours, of course. Um, we think ours is better. Um, so get Roxim. Uh, there's a free trial. You can use it for 30 days, and you can find out what delay you want. And on our website, I think it's um, Peak of Flight newsletter or, or, or our, our video series. Um, there's a video in there, and we'll have the link here, um, that explains how to pick rocket motors. And in there, we'll explain what delay you want to use for your rocket motor. Um, so once you get the delay set, then you're going to open up this little bag and you have the little, little, little red cap. You have the igniter, and the igniter has a little paper tube on it to protect the end of it. So the igniter is going to go into the nozzle, of course, and you know how to use that. Um, and then you also get, there's a little washer and a little vial that contains the ejection charge. So the little washer goes in first. So you delay, you drill it, then you put in this little washer, and you open the little vial like that, and then you just simply pour it in, jingle it around a little bit, and then take the little red cap, and you'll push the red cap in there as far as it will go. Um, sometimes it helps to take a, a screwdriver or a blunt edge and push it in just like that. Okay, so now this motor is ready to fly and we will put it into the rocket mode, into the rocket, put the igniter in, and it's good to go. So that is the uh, disposable motor system. My name is Tim Van Milligan. If you have questions, please come to the Apogee website. Um, over here off to the side, we have some other videos I think that you'll enjoy. Uh, may the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.